So let's go over the attachments of the traps really quick. So your lower trap attaches from around T12 and it travels up around here to the middle part of, uh, or the upper part of your shoulder blade. And then your middle trap's gonna travel up to around C7. Your trap muscle kind of fans out to the spine of your scapula and then around all the way to your clavicle. And then the upper division runs all the way to the back of your head. So what I want you to envision is, is really this part of the attachment of the muscle, because this, this line really represents the line of the shrug that we're gonna emphasize because we want to emphasize that upward rotation component because that's what the the trap is best at performing that's one of its its most productive movements is that upward rotation of your scapula so we're really going to emphasize that during your shrug so what that's going to look like is as opposed to focusing on the elevation component your shoulders your shoulder blades coming straight up to the back of your head we're going to focus on your shoulder blades moving up and out or up and around Remember, the studies show that what you're thinking about during an exercise has a major impact on what actually happens, and it affects muscle growth and affects a lot of your results. So when you think about the motion you're performing and you really know where you're going, that changes the exercise. These little things are what separate the, the people who, are, who have good results in training versus the people who have great results in training. I don't wanna be good, I wanna be great. So I focus on the specifics because these specifics actually matter. So when you're holding a bar during a shrug, let's say I'm holding a bar. Um, studies show that your traps activate the most when your arms are pre-positioned around 30 degrees of abduction. And what that means is, so this would be like me basically at neutral, 30 degrees of abduction would be my arms out 30 degrees out here. So if I had a bar, the way we would emphasize what I just showed you is instead of me focusing on my, my arms coming up towards the back of my head like this, I would think about tightening my traps and my arms almost moving up and out, performing this kind of a motion. So it's not straight elevation, it's elevation and upward rotation. My arms are moving out as I go up and around, because my shoulder blades are going this way, this direction. Remember, the line of pull of the muscle is right here. So this muscle is pulling your shoulder blades up and around. The skeleton is just envisioned of having the bar in its hand. It's tightening the traps here, and the arms are going to move up and out this way, like this, as we emphasize the upward rotation is that since your traps attached to the back of your head, when a muscle contracts, muscles pull from two different ends, right? You have two different, you have an origin and an insertion point. And for your muscle to effectively pull, one end needs to be fixed so that the other end has something to pull off of. So since your traps attached to the back of your head and onto your shoulder blade, when performing a shrug, it's important that your head stays completely still because we want or we want your head to be fixed so that your scapula can upwardly rotate around your head. Um, head movement or neck movement during a shrug is pretty commonly seen in a gym. Um, a lot of times you'll see somebody perform a shrug and they'll kind of jut their chin out a little bit or they'll pop their head up or they'll move it around. But you want to keep your head as neutral as you can, essentially with your, your chin kind of tucked down like this. And you want to move your shoulder blades around a fixed neck and what that's going to look like if you look at the muscle envision this line from your shoulder blade here see how it's kind of this angle this is the angle essentially you want to move at so that means that your scapula is going to upwardly rotate up and out this way as you come up during the shrug now a lot of times in a shrug you'll see this straight elevation of the shoulder blades just coming up. You don't see the emphasis with the shoulder blades coming up and out.